and pulling me into an auction. All right, so that's the idea of how this information is all starting to come together. Now, as all this information comes together, traditional types of programs start to break down, right? Um, one of the things that organizations, whether it's a government organization or a business uh, or even schools, um, there's so much data, no one can figure out what's in it, right? So this idea of dying in a thirst, dying of thirst in a sea of data, right? 90% of the world's data and information was created in the last two years. Isn't that an amazing statistic, right? 90%, all right? 80% of the data is unstructured. So what does unstructured mean? Structured data is numbers that are in rows and tables in a traditional computer database like Excel or a spreadsheet, right? Where there's a little cell and there's a number in that cell or a piece of information in that cell. Um, unstructured information would be a book from the library, right? That's been digitized, right? It's just a bunch of free flowing text that tries to get across information about something, right? A blog post on a social network is unstructured information. A Word document that someone wrote for a paper for school is unstructured information. The problem with unstructured information is computers don't know how to deal with it because it's not structured, right? So it becomes uh, a difficult problem, right? And then the other one that's just an interesting fact is of all this data that companies are generating and governments are generating, they're only using 20% of it, right? And they're trying to figure out how to use more of it. But they don't know how to do it yet. Right? They're trying to kind of work through and change systems to deal with this, right? Um, and from a business viewpoint, one out of every two business leaders, CEOs, say they don't have access to the data they need to run their business today. That's a very scary number, right? Considering the number of people that are employed by big companies like, like that, right? So they have a, a lot of information. They just don't know where it is. They don't know how to find it. They don't know what's going on within their business because there's nothing discovering that, uh, that capability. All right, so we believe what's starting to happen is the foundation of a new era of computing. Now, I thought I'd define for a second what an era is, right? There's only been two prior eras, right? The idea of computing, you know, started to be used a little over 100 years ago, the early 1900s. And at, at that point in time, it was mechanical. These were devices that counted things. How many people remember punch clock, uh, time clocks when you would go in for work, right? Um, those were punching data onto a card for a mechanical device, could sense that and count things up on counters, right? They were called tabulating systems, right? The original name for IBM was the Computing Tabulating and Recording Company, right? Because we built these things. We built meat slices, 